This video now demonstrates interactivity with CSS pseudo classes. If you visited a website and noticed that the text color or background of hyperlinks changed when you moved the mouse pointer over them, you've probably seen CSS pseudo classes in action. A CSS pseudo class can be used to apply a special effect to a selector. The five pseudo classes that can be applied to the anchor element are link, visited, focus, hover, and active. The link pseudo class is the default state for a hyperlink that has not been clicked. The visited pseudo class is the, the default state of a hyperlink that has been clicked. The focus pseudo class is triggered when the hyperlink has keyboard focus. This typically occurs when the user presses the tab key to move from hyperlink to hyperlink on a web page. The hover pseudo class is triggered when the user places the mouse pointer over the hyperlink. The active pseudo class is triggered when the hyperlink is active. The user has activated the hyperlink with the mouse or keyboard and the new page is about to display in the browser. You do not have to code all the pseudo classes, but they must be coded in the order listed. Link, visited, focus, hover, and active. To apply a pseudo class, write it after the selector. The code sample uses the link pseudo class, coded A colon link, to configure hyperlinks to initially display with dark blue text. The link pseudo class configures the display of hyperlinks before they have been clicked. Next, the hover pseudo class, coded A colon hover, configures the way that hyperlinks look when the user places the mouse pointer over them. In this case, the hover configures red text and no underline. A common coding technique is to configure anchor elements to function as buttons. Ordinarily, you would have to click right on the text to activate a hyperlink. When you configure the anchor element as a block display element, using display block, the user can place the mouse pointer anywhere within the block area to activate a hover pseudo class, and the user can place the mouse pointer anywhere within the block area and click to activate a hyperlink. Here's an excerpt of the CSS used on this page. The A selector configures the display of hyperlinks in the navigation area with block display. 20 pixels of padding, no underline, a medium blue background color, and a bottom border. The link pseudo class configures white text color for hyperlinks that have not yet been visited. The visited pseudo class configures gray text color for hyperlinks that have already been visited. The hover pseudo class configures medium blue text and a gray background color when the mouse pointer is over the anchor tags block area. An example of this web page is at terrymorris.net slash practice. Web developers often configure the hover, focus, and active pseudo classes with the same styles. The new code that you see provides an example of how to code multiple selectors. Notice the use of a comma to separate the selectors. Remember that you don't have to use all the CSS pseudo classes, but if you use them, you must code them in the order of link, visited, hover, focus, and active. You can easily add interactivity to web pages by configuring hyperlinks with CSS pseudo classes. A pseudo class is used to apply a special effect to a selector.